Hello again, and welcome to part 4 of my series on building a website using HTML and CSS. This time, we'll be working on making menus and links. First, let's open up the file from last time. If you haven't completed the previous video, or you can't find your work from last time, go do so now, and then come back to this video. Now, we've already set up a little bit of our header, so this time we'll jump down to the different menu areas. Let's start with the area that will be our horizontal navigation bar stretching across the page above the content area. Click inside the div with the navbar class. Remember, that means your cursor is between the div class equals quote navbar unquote close bracket and the open bracket slash div close bracket. Let's add three external links here. These will go to sites outside of our own website. To make this work, we're going to need to be able to signal to the browser that these are links, not regular text. Time for our next tag. This time, we'll be dealing with the A element. A seems like a strange tag at first. However, it was developed because HTML uses anchors to find locations across the web. This means that our anchor can be another page on the web, another page in our site, or even just another location on the same page. For our first link, let's create a link to YouTube. Type open bracket A close bracket, YouTube, open bracket, slash, A, close bracket. The text in between the two tags is what will be displayed to the audience looking at our web page. If we checked our page now, we'd see that this had the familiar look of a link, but no actual functionality. This is because we haven't told the browser where to go. Place your cursor inside the A tag, right before the close bracket. Skip a space, and we'll put in an attribute that will tell the browser where to go the href attribute. Type href. Of course, we still haven't told the browser what value this attribute has, so let's assign it one. Type in equals open quote http colon four slash four slash youtube dot com end quotes right after the href. Now, let's say you don't want YouTube to replace our page in the browser. We want it to open in a new window or tab. Time for the target attribute. For a new window, we want to assign the value of open quote underscore blank close quote to the target attribute. If you remember how to set an attribute for our A element, pause this video and give it a shot. When you're done, come back and check out the finished code to see how you did. Here's the finished code. How did you do? Let's keep making links in this navbar div. Skip a space, add a vertical bar, and skip another space. This will set our links apart from each other. Create two more links using the A element and the attributes we've just covered. Direct one to http slash slash aviary.com and the other to http slash slash screencast dash o dash matic.com or any two websites of your choosing. We want both these links to open in a new tab or window. Don't forget to add text in between the A and slash A tags. Without that, there will be nothing for the audience to click. Pause the video and add the two new links, separated by a space, a vertical bar, and another space. Come on back when you're done and check your code. Here's what you should have. Now, let's click down to our side menu div. In this one, we're going to make three links that will eventually go to other pages on our own site. However, we're going to set them up just a bit differently to get some more HTML practice. First, let's try out the h3 element, where h1 signifies huge text, h3 signifies text that is just a bit larger and more bold than regular text. Let's create a heading to indicate that this side menu will be our site directory using the h3 element. Go ahead and pause the video while you try it, and come back here when you're done. Here's what you should have. Now for our three links. We're going to set these up as an unordered list using the UL element. This means we're going to need to set up our UL, include three list items, and make each of those list items a link. These links won't go anywhere yet, so the href attribute will be open quote, pound, close quote, as a placeholder. We'll also want them to open on this page, so we'll leave out the target attribute altogether. If you're feeling really ambitious, pause this and give it a shot. If you prefer, you can continue watching while I walk through the steps. First, we create our unordered list. Open bracket, UL, close bracket, 
open bracket, slash, ul, close bracket. Now, click between the two tags, drop down the line, and add in three copies of open bracket, li, close bracket, open bracket, slash, li, close bracket. I recommend dropping down a line after each to keep things clean. Now, click between the one set of li and slash li tags, and create a link, like so. Pause this video, repeat this for the remaining two li sets, and then come back here. Now that you're back, you can see the code is exactly the same for the other two, though I've changed link1 to link2 and link3. Save your work, and then open this page in the browser as you have in the previous lessons. Ta-da! Okay, still not the most impressive website around, and that unordered list doesn't look much like a side menu at all but that's what CSS is for. And next time, that's exactly where we'll start. See you then.